Hey guys, so welcome back and happy Monday. Mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my workout routine and what I kinda like to do, make things really simple. I'm the kind of person who doesn't really know what to do when I get to the gym. So I really like to rely on YouTube videos and going to workout classes to really just make it easier on myself. I have been a huge fan of the Tone It Up girls for so long and they actually have stuff that is out at Target right now. They've got like protein bars and workout equipment. It's super cool to see how far they've come. I also really like to do workouts by Pamela on YouTube. She's got like 2.7 million subscribers and she's super, super good. Her videos don't have any talking. They just have this timer. It's super nice. I like to pair any sort of strength workout with some sort of cardio, even if it's just a short walk or something like that. Like I've talked about before, the 5K running app is super helpful. And if you get something that motivates you and holds you accountable, it can also be really great. Some people wear Apple watches or Fitbits. So the other thing that I'm gonna be showing is two of my absolute favorite recipes, hands down. We're just gonna all get through this together and I hope you guys have a great week since when you see this, it probably won't be Monday. So now for the snack recipes. The first one is the famous avocado crack dip. It is super addicting and my sister doesn't even like avocados and she loves this dip. This is an awesome tool that I love to use. Um, it's a chopper and it makes it super easy for you to just put your little vegetables in there. It also comes with different attachments. So this one's like for cutting a little bit bigger and then it also has this little cleany thing. So for this recipe, you're gonna need feta cheese, couple Roma tomatoes, avocados, some salt and pepper, some onion powder, garlic powder, red wine vinegar, some extra virgin olive oil, and of course your favorite kind of chip. The original recipe calls for cherry tomatoes, but I like using Roma tomatoes because I'm weird and I don't like the seeds, so I just run them under some water and get all of those out and then they're really easy cut up. So after the tomatoes are all chopped up, um, I'm just putting all of the ingredients together. I'll link the exact recipe and measurements down in the description box. So here I'm actually just chopping up the feta cheese. I don't know about you, but when you first open it, there's like a couple really big chunks and then everything else is really small. So I'm just making them all the same size and then pouring them in. The only thing that you are gonna leave out is the avocado and also the fresh parsley because you wanna add those right before you wanna eat your dip. Okay, and then this is my favorite part. I love lemon. It just makes everything so much more fresh. It can also help the avocado from browning. So I'm gonna throw this mixture in the fridge for a couple of hours. You can just do one hour, but it makes it taste better the longer it sits.
Next recipe is pretty basic. I'm sure you've all heard about how to make homemade Chex Mix, but I promise you I've tried every single different recipe and ratio to make it not too salty and I think we finally got it right. For this recipe, you're going to need corn, rice, and wheat checks. I also love putting in the honey nut checks, but I just didn't have any. Um, and then you're also going to have some almonds or some sort of nuts. Almonds are just a little bit healthier and it's what we had on hand. Next thing you need is some garlic powder and then some seasoned salt. I'm not going to attempt to say the next ingredient, but there it is. So melt your butter, put all of these ingredients together, and then you can pour it over the top. I'm very curious. Um, I love sparkling water or anything of that nature, but I know a lot of people hate it. With all of my groceries being picked up, um, they kind of choose for you what they have available. And they didn't have any more LaCroix or Bubblies, so they gave me this Waterloo brand. And actually, it's my favorite, it's my new favorite, and it's in the flavor watermelon, so give it a try. Pop this in your oven at 250 and just check it every 15 minutes until it's just golden brown. Midway through I had to have some mango chunks. I'm like a weirdo and I love just eating frozen mango. We are now going to finish our avocado crack dip. Well, I'm trying to cut an avocado here and the knife was literally not working. So I got a knife that worked and you're going to cut those up into small chunks and add some fresh parsley and you are pretty much done. final product. I really hope you guys enjoyed these recipes. I know I love them so much. Also still trying to figure out what everybody likes to see. So if you have any ideas for me, I would love to hear them. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. See you next time. Mind your own